Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to, I guess, another news information piece that just came out yesterday. Originally, I was going to be featuring Oklahoma today, so I'm sorry about that trapper that's going to be moved off to Monday, Tuesday. Um, but there's a bit of an important news article uh, that is over on the uh, Russian uh, CIS, Common Independent Commonwealth of Independent States um, news article. Um, about an update regarding players who want to transfer from the CIS to the EU realm, okay? Uh, so since the start of the war in Ukraine, uh, Wargaming has been working on restructuring itself, um, and they um, had this announcement uh, about separating uh, from out of Russia and Belarus. Um, so previously it was announced that Wargaming's entire lives game, live games business in Russia and Belarus, including World of Warships, had been transferred to Lesta Games. Since then, Wargaming and Lesta Games managed to achieve complete structural and financial separation. Okay, um, It was bad press for Wargaming, and continuing to have ties in Russia and Belarus with um, the war in Ukraine. Um, they even fired one of their... I think it's one of their top executives, it's been a while, um, who was um, pro-war speaking. Uh, so they definitely wanted to distance themselves very much from this uh, because it would lead to the potential of a lot of lost profits. So uh, Wargaming didn't waste too much time on this either. Live products are now operated and monetized by two independent companies that do not share any revenue. Okay, so they're emphasizing we're separate, we're different, we're no longer, uh, we're not tied to each other. Celeste so Games in Russia and Belarus and Wargaming in all other countries. So, um, yeah, so complete separation there. And we'll talk more about the implications about um, how this might impact the game for those of you who do play on uh, CIS and if there's anything that should be expected for those of you on the EU server. The two companies will continue to work together to carry out the following next steps in this process. The creation of a separate game client under Lesta Games a new name and logo for players in Russia and Belarus, and the start of account transfers. So every currently registered player on the CIS realm will have to decide between two options, okay? First, you have to decide, do I want to transfer to the EU region operated by Wargaming? Or to the Lesta Games servers, okay? so. Um, they're going to have to, they're basically separating it, right? So you have to choose, do you want to go to the EU region operated by Wargaming or to less the game servers? Again, this is only for CIS. It is not impacting on the Asian server, um, North American server, uh, or the European server, um, essentially. So just those who play on the CIS server. So this note here, important all payment methods from Lesta Games, the RE, uh, RU region, will only be available to players from the Russian Federation or the Republic of Belarus. Players from other countries will only be able to make payments to Wargaming. Account transfers are going to start in September and transferred players will immediately be able to experience the same specials, benefits, and services that existing EU players have access to. Okay, so they're going to start next month, so basically roughly a little over 10 days from now. Uh, this is going to start the process of the account transfers. Um, that includes continued language support for Ukrainian and Russian in the World of Warships game client, as well as language support for Russian on the EU World of Warships portal and player support portal. So they're kind of emphasizing we'll still take care of you if you come over to the Wargaming EU um, server. Transferring accounts on a large scale between servers is incredibly complicated. Um, and Wargaming has ever only done this a couple times where they offered players just if they wanted to switch servers. Uh, very rare that they ever do it. And we are fully committed to ensuring the process is as smooth as possible for all affected players. We will provide more information about the specifics for this account transfer to its launch date, which is currently scheduled for September. In the meantime, please find a preliminary uh, frequently asked questions here. So, um, so the give more details, uh, more specifics when the time gets closer to the launch date, which is scheduled currently for September, okay? Now, frequently asked questions, there's one that's very important in here. Um, 
I want to point out. So they're saying only from the CIS region can you transfer to the EE region. Uh, they're looking to start transfers in September, September 2022. Uh, what will change for me as a current player in the EE region? Nothing will change for you. Um, that's accurate, uh, but also at the same time, you might be seeing, um, it is possible that you'll be seeing um, more, I mean, granted, Russian players or just people who play on the CIS um, servers previously um, coming over into the EU game client. So I have never played on the CIS server, so I don't know what the um, quote unquote uh, game meta is there, but that's the only thing I could see that actually would impact anyone who's on the EU region. I think probably the reason why they are only keeping it to the EU region. Well, there's probably multiple reasons, but one of which I have in mind is um, I don't think we have the language support on the North American server, but I could be wrong. Um, what will happen to the old account? Will it be removed? The request to automatically delete the old account will be automatically issued 14 days after the successful transfer. After 45 days, the old account will be deleted. Okay, this is the really important thing I want to point out here. Will the Lesta and Wargaming versions of the game be identical in terms of content? For example, new branches, maps, modes, balancing, etc. This is, when I first read this article, this is what I had in my mind. Lesta Games will continue the operation of World of Warships in Russia and Belarus with a new client based on the current game version. Okay, current game version, new client. However, as the game is now operated and monetized by two independent companies, Further client development is decided separately and might lead to differences in the future. So this is kind of a parting. So if players who decide to remain on the CIS server decide to uh, or stick with less the games, they don't want to transfer over to Wargaming on the EU server, um, it is, I would say it's quite likely, highly likely, that there's going to be differences in the future of the game of World of Warships. Um, and I'm also assuming this is probably going over for World of Tanks as well. Wargaming's entire live games business. Yeah, so World of Tanks, uh, World of Airplanes, you know, that affects five people. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's going to be differences in the future of World of Warships uh, that was was going to be previously known as the CIS server with Wargaming that's transferring over to Lustig Games um, and then Wargaming uh, leaving that behind, okay? Um, can players transfer their clan to EU? Yes, if requested by the clan commander. Will the progress on regional and general and game events continue? Game progress will not be saved. The ability to complete already started regional game events will be disabled, okay? So during this period, uh, transition period, the companies will can still collaborate with each other in good faith were appropriate within the scope of their new relationship, okay? So they very, they've emphasized a lot throughout this article that there is no longer gonna be relationship in terms of uh, financial speaking um, and finalizing the transfer over of the separation of the, the game clients, right? Um, but in terms of the long term, they maybe they continue to have some conversation time to time but financially they'll be completely independent from one another. We currently do not see any foresee any significant service interruptions resulting from the separation. Though while we are in the transition period, players will continue to see some cross-regional futures in World of Warships as we gradually adjust our workflows to this new reality. Our new office in uh, Belgrade will help facilitate a disruption-free transition of processes and operations. So. They seem to be really emphasizing that we're gonna do our best to make this as smooth as possible. Um, and this is kind of, I don't know, in English, you translate this like, our new office in Belgrade will help facilitate a disruption free, kind of like a guaranteed um, when as you read that. So in the meantime, let us welcome both new and experienced captains to our server. So, uh, so again, this is only for the CIS server. It does not impact you if you're in the EU, the Asian, or the NA server um, from a surface perspective or just uh, pretty much. The only thing on the effect is just you'll have more players probably popping up on the uh, EU server now who have these transfers. So I'm kind of really curious to see um, in terms of the clans, because um, there's some really good, couple good clans on the CIS server, uh, what they end up deciding to do if they decide to move over to the EU server because, you know, 
in reality the game is going to go in two different directions and I'm thinking, you know, like I had the King of Seas in my mind, that kind of thing. So I think it's probably likely that we'll see some of those top clans transferring over to the EU server, but not sure. So let's see how Wargaming handles this going forward. So this is just an important news update that I wanted to highlight. Um, granted, I don't think it impacts much of my subscribers and viewers here, um, but I just wanted to make this known that this is something that has been happening. I guess some people have been wondering about the relationship uh, with Wargaming, um, you know, out of Russia, out of Belarus. And so there's your answer of what is currently up. So I'll put this article in the description below, uh, the link. So if you want to check this out for yourself, you can. Uh, there's no discussion on forum or anything like that because I was going to look at it, but uh, it's not there. So. With that, we're gonna wrap the video up. Um, we'll have the, I meant to say this at the beginning of the video, the giveaway will be tomorrow. So you have until tonight, until tonight to enter the giveaway uh, that I'm doing on the channel uh, for reaching a thousand subscribers. So thank you very much for that. Um, the giveaway will be tomorrow, but you only have until tonight to enter. And it's on my couple of YouTube videos ago uh, I thought it'd be best to give you all another day if some of you haven't entered yet. Um, and then we can have the giveaway tomorrow on Saturday. So be looking forward to that. So if you liked today's video, give a thumbs up. If you did not, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you subscribe, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.